Hello, darling. Welcome home. Who am I? What do you mean? I was so sure you'd be able to recognize me at first sight. After all, we are destined to be together. Hey, put the phone down. Oh no, I hit your hand. I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt you that way. I just don't want you calling the police. At least not yet. Not until you hear me out. Come, have a seat. I baked you some sweets and served you a nice cold glass of milk. You must be really tired. What? The knife? <laughs> Silly me. I forgot I was holding it. I was just in the middle of making you dinner when you arrived. <laughs> you want me to put it down? Don't worry. I will. Just have a seat. Please. I know you have a lot of questions, like how did I get into your apartment, or where I got that milk from. <laughs> Don't worry about that right now. Let me start by helping you remember who I am. I'll let you take a guess. I'm someone you've been neglecting for a while. Someone you stopped talking to, and suddenly disappeared. Can you guess yet? No. Okay. Let me help you out. Ahem. Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome. How are you all doing today? <laughs> thank you so much for your donation. And thank you for the subs. Did that help? I knew that would refresh your memory. Yep, that's me, your favorite VTuber. Or rather, I was your favorite. It's been a while since I've seen you in the chat. It's been exactly 87 days since you last came up on the chat or commented on the VODs. Now tell me, did you find someone else you liked watching? Oh. You stopped watching streamers in general? Why? I see. So, that's the reason. Huh. You know, I'm kind of relieved that you weren't cheating on me with another streamer. I know, it's not exactly cheating. I know a lot of my viewers watch other streamers besides me. But you? <laughs> You're different. When I first started streaming, I felt like I was talking to myself. It felt awkward trying to talk when I could see there were zero viewers. Some people would come to take a peek, but they would leave the stream pretty much immediately. It made me kind of sad when people wouldn't give me a chance. But you were the first that stayed. You saw me struggling in that adventure game and tried to help me, giving me tips cheering me on through a boss fight, and celebrating when we finally beat the game. And as my confidence grew, I saw the number of viewers and subs increase as well. It was nice to see so many people interacting with me and one another. Watching this small little community grow because of me felt amazing. But no matter how busy or crazy the chat got, I always kept an eye for you. Then, I noticed you weren't showing up on the chat as often. I thought maybe you were busy, but I was glad you were there. And then, I noticed that you weren't commenting or watching my VODs. I thought maybe I was starting to bore you. So I started switching up my content, playing different games, trying out new streams, anything to hopefully see you again. But the final straw was seeing you unsubscribe. It felt like a knife going straight to my heart. I didn't stream for a few days. People in the community started asking if I was okay. It was sweet that they cared, but they couldn't replace you. 
I tried to go back to streaming, pretending that it didn't bother me, but people noticed something was off. My gameplay wasn't as good as before, my streams were shorter, and my overall mood was starting to crack. And finally, I vented a bit during a members only stream. I think that might be the first time I cried on stream. Everyone was kind and suggested that I take a break, but I knew that alone wouldn't help me. So I decided I couldn't keep pretending that everything was fine. So I came looking for you. How did I find you? Uh, I think the less you know the better. It was a bit difficult to find you. No, 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 I didn't do anything illegal. Uh, was it against the law? Maybe. But if I don't know, then it's not illegal, right? Anyways, the point is that I found you, and I am happy that you're doing okay. But I decided that I need you, and the only way to make sure you never leave is to come live with you. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. I'm going to live here with you. Oh, why are you against this? I thought this would make you happy. Is it because I look different than my VTuber model? I know I look really different than the anime boy I used to. But, am I that unattractive to you? That's not the reason? Then, what do you have against me living with you? I know this is all so sudden, but I promise I will make you happy. I can stream during the day while you're out and give you all the time and attention you deserve when you're home. I want you to be there for me as much as I can be there for you. At least give me a chance. I just want to spend more time with you. Really? You mean it? Great. I already have my bags in your room. But let me finish making dinner for us. You must be starving after such a long day. But, can you promise me something? I know you don't watch streamers anymore. But, can you promise me you won't watch anyone else's stream? I mean it. I don't want to share you with anyone else. You are mine. And mine alone. Okay. <laughs> Don't be so nervous. I'm only teasing you. A bit. Anyways, let's eat. I made you a special dinner. I hope you like it. <laughs>